Hello, everybody, and welcome to my little play, my first playthrough of Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy. We'll only be playing the, uh, the first Crash Bandicoot for now, and then we'll see, uh, about going into it later, like the other games later. But I've always, I've been interested to check this out. I've had, I've had this game for a little while, but never actually played it. Was saving it for good times. The good happy times! <laughs> I played a little bit of the... Activision presents That's weird. A smashing blast from the past. That's really that's really weird. Developed by vicarious visions. I'll have you know that if I wanted to do over dramatic voices for these company Bandicoot. names, I would do it myself. But you have to say, this is a really cool intro. <laughs> Watch the polygonal one become better. Well, quote unquote, better. Just a wonderful thing. I've only played a little bit of the uh, original PlayStation 1 game. So I'll be very interested to see. How well I do with this. License and privacy policy. A full version of the software license agreement is available online. That's weird. Normally owning the game is enough for that. And then you can just bring up the license. <laughs> Why? This is so weird. <laughs> That's so weird. But, uh, well, let's go on to Crash Bandicoot Vun and see the interestingness. I see you. Mr. Tiki Man with the giant bushy eyebrows. Floating across my screen. But, Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron. This bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my Cortex Commandos to world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant. <laughs> oh, you can already kind of tell that it's doing better than the original because the original's kind of wonky. I didn't even really understand what the original cinematic was trying to accomplish. You didn't tie him down to the chair? Prepare the female bandicoot. Much more cinematic than the original. Hint! Collect three Aku Aku masks to become invincible. Well, how's that nice? And I see you. Look at that water! Water on the sand. Alright. Gotta learn the controls. Seems there's only really two ones that really matter. Alright, you have to bounce on them. Oh, that's inventory. I just thought it was like the UI. I guess the same thing, but... Alright, give me all those... Mongos, peaches. But really, I, I just should just say, like, the real reason that I'm playing this is because I'm really excited about the Spyro trilogy that's coming. Ah, dang it! You destroyed the wonderful bounce box, stupid crab. It probably held magical things, mystical magical things. Now, do not throw the mangoes away. The mangoes are important. They heal us. Maybe. Run! Run, Billy Bones! Dang it, they did it again! The dead bodies are my worst enemy! Ah! 
Fly turtle! Destroying boxes again, I see. Stupid turtle. Hmm. Cause all I know is like this game is big on the Destroy all the boxes. Or that, or you die. Dang it. Luckily there's not guac marks right here. Dang it. Need to be on the uh, have an itchy trigger finger for destroying the enemy. Get all of these and get a life back, hopefully. There you go. Dang it, I did it again. The jumping seems a little weird in this one. It's like, dang it. Like, things feel just the teensiest bit away than they should be. Ha ha ha. Like, it just feels like things, like enemies, should be a little further away. And just like, I don't know. I think the perspective's messing with my brain. Alright. Whoop! Yeah, I'm not gonna destroy those. Because I do not want to be destroyed. No, I did it again, didn't I? Ah, good. I just felt like the perspective. It's messing with my brain. And I know I miss boxes. I don't care. I no longer care. Of course I miss boxes. <laughs> you throw a box bridge in the first level. Which is like... And I don't want to risk it. I don't want to die. I'm already dying as much as it is because the perspective is messing with my brain. Also, what kind of birds did they did Aquaku's feathers come from? Yeah, I think. Uh... Ha ha ha! No. Oh, and you can save and load. That's cool. You can save and load. And there's the auto slot. Nice. That's weird. The square button is the confirm button. That's a little weird, but okay. Now let's jump ahead to this next level. And hopefully my brain will get used to the perspective. Hint. Spinning TNT is deadly. Jump on it instead. That's a little weird. Don't spin at TNT. Jump on it. And then it'll destroy your internet. Explode and give me treats. Uh, no treats for the TNT explosions? How dare you. Go away. Whoop. All the mangoes will be mine. And then I will be the lord and master of melee. Also, these uh, skunks are weird. No. Ah, the deadly rolling stones of perpetuality. Of course. Is that even a word? Perpetuality. Rutabaga. I agree. I really like the music. Shut up, elephant. Nobody likes you. Don't know what that is. You probably have to get a thing. I don't know where that thing is because I am a fool. I don't know this game. I'm not going for 100% yet. If I were going for 100%, I'd have to really, like, think about it. Because this one's, I think, is harder to do. Haha! <laughs> Fear me! Ah, uh, normally, like, uh, I guess I'm used to that Ratchet and Clank, uh, yeah, Ratchet and Clank logic. These special magic boxes are only affected by explosions! Aha! Uh -huh. I was expecting a, a TNT b box there. I want to say barrel. Aha! Uh -huh. Now let's see if we can do the bonus stage. Which I think was the saving mechanic in the previous game. I don't understand that. That's what those do. Yes. The mystical magicalness of things. 
Ah, my extra life, no! And then she gets kidnapped. Also a nice detail, because I think in the original she just stood there. Alright. Now let's go. Away! Um, feed me Seymour. I did it again! Oh. I almost did it again! For a I killed! How dare you! I trusted you, and now I got a game over. Oh. What? Oh. Huh. Because I could have sworn on the bonus stage there was a uh, crash face that had a zero next to it. So I thought, I just thought, I don't know. But okay, -ok. I have lots of lives. I missed three boxes. How dare you? And uh, going backwards is a bit more deadly. I guess I'll just replay the level. It's safer that way. Shut up, elephant. Nobody likes you. You just make noises. Maybe this could be one of those games that I... Oh, maybe that should be it. Because what I'm trying to do is, like, stream and record, like... Uh, well, maybe not record, but, like, do things four days a week or so. Maybe one of those days could be, like, uh... Hey, let's go and see if we can complete a game I've already played. But not Kingdom Hearts, because screw Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts hurts me. I'm going to go in and uh, see if I can find those other three boxes. Hint, spinning TNT is deadly. I oh, we already saw that hint! It would be kind of cool if the hints are specialized per level, though that does mean that uh, the hints will get a little boring if you have to replay a level again and again and again. Oh. I guess grab that in case you want to... Well... Let's see how fast we go. Right. Dang it! Wait a minute, didn't I have an Aku Aku mask? I thought I had an Aku Aku mask. What the hell? Oh! Getting a timey thing gets rid of your Aku. That's kind of weird, but okay. So basically, grab the stopwatch before the Aku mask is what it seems to be. That just seems like really weird design if you ask me. Hey, we're going to do this thing that is weird and doesn't make that much sense, but whatever. Be gone! Animals of stink? <laughs> I became invincible anyway. <laughs> wow, this thing lasts forever. Best time. But is it really the best time? I don't think it is. Um... Ah, what? Meh. That's normally the uppercase thing, isn't it? God damn it. But apparently, no, that's the start. Just have start be the stinking thing that's like, okay, everything's confirmed. No, we're gonna make it the trigger. You stupid. Stupid design decisions. We have to be original. No, it's because you turned the stinking start button into an options button. You fool. You hurt me. Oh, apparently that is. My, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe uh, maybe it's by the color of the onk. I don't know. The game. The game's not explaining anything to me. The game's being weird. Don't blame me. And this time we're not gonna grab the stopwatch because we're here for the boxes. We're here for the boxes. Not for the time. Luckily they do kind of put it off to the side, which is nice. Could be a little bit more off to the side. Hmm. But one thing that I... Eh? You bounce on that until we get all the mangos. 
But the one thing that I can't wait for is the Spyro Trilogy. It looks so good. It just looks so stinking good. I just love Spyro, and it looks so good. And the cool thing is... You fall down, you fall down pits. Because the, the ledge is mean. But it just looks so good. They're apparently bringing back Tom Kenny, who was the voice of Spyro for, uh... The, uh, last two Spyro games that came out on PlayStation 1. That's just super cool. That's a bit of a consistency in a way. I still have no idea who the, uh... Like, how to say the first Spyro's voice actor name. <laughs> it eludes me to this day. Oh, if you die, you'll lose that. I, or maybe you already... What the hell I took? How dare you? I landed on the other side, how dare you? He's rude. I don't like the ledges. The ledges that taunt. They are mean. And messes again, the perspective messes with my brain just a little bit. Be gone. And then be gone again. Apparently eating the skunk has satisfied the giant monster. Thank you. Dang it. Rapid fire. Needs the rapid fire spin. Rudy big indeed. I'm here for boxes. Not for your petty littleness. Boing, boing, boing. Haha, <laughs> you thought you could kill me, but you can't. Oh, yeah, they stick. That's cool. Very nice. If this isn't... If this was, uh... It just feels like that's not an older game thing to do. Like, if this was an older game, like this was originally. Before the remake. Remaster. Whatever. re thing a jiggy It would be extra cruel. Also, is it in the original, can't you go, like, up and down on this stage? Like, into the depth of the world. Making it really annoying. There you go. Hey there. Goodbye. Nope. Okay, that was weird. The, uh, the, uh, the little mother... Ancient wheels went back in time a little bit. No! Dang it, I missed small boxes. The hidden three boxes. They elude me! That's really weird. Oh no, well. But you still mix those same three boxes. So we are ashamed of you. How dare you? I'm good. Except for the perspectives. This perspective kind of... Bob, this is my brain. It's my brain's pump, I know.